fruity guacamole. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and I'm Chef Vikas Seth. Today I have something really lovely and really exciting. This is a fruity guacamole. This is going to blow your mind. Believe me, it's so simple and so tasty. How to do that? Let's see. Ingredients required to make this preparation. Avocados, chopped onions, tomatoes without seeds and pulp, cut into chopped cubes, chopped coriander, fresh chopped uh, jalapenos, chopped pineapple, pomegranate, olive oil, lime juice, salt. So out here we have organized all our ingredients to make the fruity guacamole. Now I'm using a very traditional mocajites to prepare this guacamole. I'm, this is basically a piece which is very dear to me. So I brought it with me to make my guacamole in this. That's how we do it at the restaurant as well. So what we're going to do is basically very important step is to check, uh, you know, you're using a ripe avocado. So we are just cutting in through and uh, oh wow, lovely one, yeah. So I'm going to take the seed out, yeah. Maybe at the same time, I'll cut another one. Okay. Okay, so this is not that good. So I'm going to just use the good part in this one. It has a little black spots, which I'll take it out. Checking the third one. Okay, this is also lovely. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the pulp out from this avocado into my mokaites. And nice. Very good. So this is the most important step to make a nice fruity avocado to check your avocados. It should be should be soft at the same time not very pulpy and it should not be very hard so that's the most important part uh, you know if they are very hard surely you can't make a good uh, guacamole with it so you need to check that and suppose if you're buying from the market a real green ones and it's just not soft at all what you can do is you wrap it up in a newspaper keep it in your you know rice bins kind of a thing and it will ripen faster yeah and that's how uh, it works well but if you leave it out just by itself to ripen it might not ripen and just get spoiled so that is a better way to do it so as of now as you see i have uh, taken the pulp out i'm going to be using the fork okay and just going to be crushing this in my mocha haites now this is a very important step again we don't want our uh, guacamole the fruity guacamole to be pasty or to be just you know too pureed so we want chunks you know that's what the guacamole should be so we want uh, good chunks uh, when you're eating this when you're having a bite of it so if you fork it you will get a chunky guacamole you don't need to use any blender I will never advise to use a blender to make a, a guacamole so as you see this is coming out really nice looking very fresh and as you know, this is going to taste awesome. Okay, so it is being crushed very nicely. Now comes the time to add rest of the ingredients. I'm adding a spoonful of chopped onions, two spoons of chopped tomatoes. What I've done with this is I've taken the pulp uh, out and even the seeds out. The fresh, uh, freshly chopped jalapenos. Now, the spiciness is what you need to define. If you want really spicy, as I like, I'm putting two teaspoons of it. I'm adding a good quantity of chopped coriander, cilantro. Just give a nice mix. Just a pinch of salt. There's a good amount of salt going in. I'm using lime juice and a little bit of olive oil nice mix and to make it now fruity what we are going to do is we are going to be adding the ripened pineapple which we have cut into cubes yeah 
so what will happen is you're going to be having a very creamy guacamole with the sweetness of pineapple as well in this and i'm also adding a bit of pomegranate kernels and giving a final mix and see how lovely the colors are you know you have bright green you have nice pomegranate color coming in this and the taste of this is very very good you have to surely make it try it at home and let me know okay the final step we'll do a small tasting and before giving the final garnish lovely i'm getting a spiciness of the jalapenos sweetness of the pineapple and also the tanginess of pomegranate all together with lots of avocado so what i'm going to do with this is when we make that at home and we need this suppose after few hours the color to maintain the color what we do is we add a bit of oil olive oil on top okay kind of smear it like this and then just apply or just wrap it with the cling wrap touching the top of your mixture yeah and then it will stay more greener for a longer period and keep it in the fridge that's lovely but now at present i'm just finishing this so i'm going to give a nice mix so we have a lovely lovely fruity guacamole ready with us so just finishing it up with some nice chips on the side you know in case you are lucky to have a mocha high taste yeah you can serve in that itself by garnishing it with lovely chips on the side of course you can use even pita chips you can even use grisni you can even use you know whatever chips you have from the market you can even use that and a lovely small garnish of pomegranate seeds so enjoy this lovely fruity guacamole with nice chips <laughs>